How's it going, guys? We have some fascinating news for you today. A recent report from a well-respected online scientific journal states that an ancient shipwreck has been discovered near the mouth of the Nile River in a sunken port city named Thonis Heracleion, which is a combination of names given to the city by both Egypt and Greece. And guys, the find has likely been untouched for at least 2,500 years. This discovery is significant because there hasn't been any actual archaeological evidence to support written records that these types of vessels were ever in use by ancient Egyptians, even though more than 70 partial shipwrecks and a trove of artifacts have been discovered in the area. For many years, there have been debates on how exactly the pre-dynastic Egyptians were able to move massive monoliths and gigantic stone blocks from quarries in Aswan, which are as far away as 864 kilometers or 537 miles from the Giza necropolis. Perhaps this finding will shed some light on the lost methods these people once used to transport absolutely huge amounts of material. Dubbed Ship 17, the newly discovered barge likely proves ancient historian Herodotus claimed that he once witnessed the massive boats being constructed as noted in his classic book, The Histories, which was penned nearly 2,500 years ago. Guys, 2,500 years ago, incidentally, is around the same time some historians and Egyptologists say the construction of the pyramids began. However, the internal chambers and shafts were likely from a much older time period given the drastic differences in construction and materials used. Not to mention the absolute lack of inscriptions or hieroglyphics anywhere inside the Great Pyramids of Giza. This in and of itself is extremely similar to the Serapium of Saqqara, which houses massive uninscribed stonework that, like the Great Pyramids, were likely built for a specific purpose. And I highly doubt that housing dead pharaohs, or in the case of the Serapium of Saqqara, dead bulls, was its original purpose. I hope you guys enjoyed this news update. Let us know what you think in the comments below and please subscribe for more interesting content.